This is America's homeless situation. This is Paris, France with more than 2,000 people living in the streets alone. This is somewhere in Africa. And this is the homeless here in Ch Well, I can't find any homeless person around here. There's a homeless pandemic worldwide. What can we really do to solve this problem? And why does it seem different in China? Why is it so hard to find homeless people in China? While I was searching for at least one homeless person in Guangdong, China, you won't believe the amazing experience I had. <laughs> Hello, I hope that I can find at least one homeless person. If I can find at least one homeless person here in China, then that's a huge win for me. Well, Willenias, there have been so many people asking the question, where are the homeless in China? Why are there very little to no homeless people in China? Well, in this video, we are actually investigating and trying to find out where the homeless people are. Why are there little to no homeless people here in China? In many countries, even in my country, on streets like this, you easily find homeless people everywhere. It's just after 7 a.m. right now and I think at this time of the day you can easily find homeless people in many countries across the West. In this video, I'm not going to the city centers because people might say they are restricted or it's been controlled and you can't find homeless people in the city centers. I was just moving around the small back roads, the alleys and the small places where you can easily find homeless people. And let's see if we can find some homeless people here in China. And again, Wilenia is talking about the reasons why we can't find many homeless people here in China. I'll give you my four exact points why I believe there's little to no homeless people here in China as compared to many places all over the world. And over my years here, I haven't seen many homeless people. It's so hard to find. And I've seen many, many videos of foreigners here in China searching for homeless people. Unlike what the Western media says all the time, you can't just find homeless people around the cities like in the other countries. It's quite different. And that's why I thought about making this video so we can all investigate to find out why there are no homeless people or to even try to find some homeless people. I hope I will succeed. You can look at the streets, guys. There's actually no homeless people around here. I've just been walking through this sidewalk and of course it looks very comfortable for a homeless person but couldn't find anyone and the search continues. Usually on streets like this you will easily find homeless tents and homeless people just living around here but here in China that is not the case. And this is just the first location guys. When we leave from this location we'll head to the next location just under a bridge and try to find out if we can see some homeless people and from there we'll go to some back alleys of some buildings and see if we can find some more people around there so stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe and one thing i can say about the homeless people here in china is that it's like finding a needle in a haystack it's so hard and of course i'll give you my four reasons why i believe it's so difficult to find a homeless person here in china I think this is how all societies should be. I think this is how every country should be and how every country should take care of their citizens to make their lives much better. So that that way we can all avoid homelessness everywhere in the world. Now that's a bridge over there and we'll head under the bridge and try to find out if we can see some homeless people right there. Because in most countries, in my country, under bridges like this, it's very easy to find homeless people right there. And of course, I'm sure it's same in the US, same in the UK, across France, across Africa, all across the world, you can find homeless people under the bridges. Now, let's see if we can find a way to go across. It's just after 7 a.m. right now, so many people are rushing to work. I'm still trying to find more homeless people, but as you can see, everyone is really busy going about the day in the morning it's impressive now guys remember that this is not a top tier city here in china it's a normal city and of course it should be easy to find a homeless person i believe but then let's see if we can succeed in finding a homeless person so this is a bridge 
and let's see if we find a homeless person just under this bridge around the streets here and so far I can't see any homeless person around here it's all green it's all green under this bridge of course it looks really comfortable for a homeless person if we could find a homeless person around here this location would be a perfect spot but here we are there's no homeless person living around here you can see it and of course it's a huge area but no one lives here you can only see green trees some flowers lots of greenery that's all you can find around here you can't find homeless people like in most countries around the world now what is the reason for this why can't we find homeless people easily around these kinds of locations because you can see this is a bridge and no homeless people what's that to ship me Oh, <laughs> Ah, so guys as you just saw i was asking him and <laughs> he was just confirming that you can't easily find homeless people here in china it doesn't matter where you go and People just don't like being homeless and people are really supportive. Well, that takes me to my points to explain to you the reasons why I believe that there are little to no homeless people right here in China. Well, point number one is collectiveness, togetherness. Here in China, they believe in we, not me. That's the difference and I've spoken about this before in some of my previous videos explaining to you guys the reasons why I believe China is growing really fast. And this is one of the strategies which they use to avoid homelessness here in China because they care about everyone living here in China especially when it comes to the family people believe in family so much people believe in community so much they believe in bonds so much so here in China it's so hard for you to go homeless because the people support you if you are going through a tough time if you are going through a difficult time if your family can't support you at the beginning there will be people in the community or there will be social welfare services that can definitely help you and i believe that's one of the reasons why so many people here in china can't go homeless as compared to many countries across the west and again wulenya is talking about togetherness and collective win here in china that's one of the reasons why if you check very well you will realize that every Chinese New Year almost all the Chinese citizens travel back to China for togetherness they travel back to China to visit family and they spend a lot of time with the family probably weeks and here in China all the businesses actually close up which goes to show how important it is for the Chinese people to respect and to love their family so when you talk about a family in this situation it's so hard for you as an individual to go homeless so I believe here in China it's really different and so many people can actually find their way back up even if they have hit rock bottom it's very possible and i believe this is the ideology of confucianism because it's the ideology that helps people to support each other and you don't think about just yourself you think about every other person you think about your neighbor and how to get the best out of the society there are three more reasons why i believe there are little to no homeless people here in china and of course i will tell you more <laughs> now Williams, I believe that togetherness alone isn't the only reason why you can't find lots of homeless people here in China 
The next reason, which is very common in the Western countries, is drugs, the war on drugs, you know. A long time ago, China had the issue of the opium war, and in recent years, China has been cracking down hard on the use of drugs, which is very important for the growth of any society because as we all know, drugs are a very bad part of the society. It causes lots of trouble for so many people and drugs can actually cause people not to be successful in life. It's very dangerous, it's very risky for so many people and I believe that China has really succeeded in that mic. In so many countries, it's easy to get drugs. So many people can easily get drugs at any time in many countries all across the world but here in china it's not that easy which is very good because everyone can have a sane mind and you can work with a cool head without thinking about a drug problem you know a huge percentage of the homeless problem in the west is caused by drugs because you know when people start taking drugs and then they get hooked or addicted to these drugs they can't even fit right into society so china realized that and they fought hard to alleviate such situations which is a pretty amazing gesture in order to avoid homelessness and of course lead the country into success so i believe that's why it's so hard to find homeless people around here now guys you can take a look in an area like this in my home country or in any other country across the world you will easily find homeless people but that's not the case here in China. It's so different. Now, Wulenya's collective growth and the fight against drugs here in China is not the only reason why China's homeless problem is next to known. Well, the very third point, which I believe is a very important point, which has led China to not having so many homeless people, is the fact that the government actually takes care of the people. In what sense? Now, I heard from many Chinese people that if you don't have a home, or you are homeless, or you don't have something to do, the government actually offers you a place to live. Of course, not in the big cities, in the much smaller cities. That's what I mean when I talk about collective win, because it's very important. And as you can see, when the government offers people these homes, they can choose to live in those homes. So I think in most cases here in China, if you find a homeless person on the street, maybe they decided not to live in that home. And most times it's around the countryside, which is still very, very comfortable and really good. And most of the people in the countryside they can still get some jobs and they can do some farming and of course the government here in china encourages farming i've been searching for homeless people here in china for at least an hour now it's not easy to find a homeless person oh maybe that's a homeless person no they are just working these are just workers right there as you can see i've been searching for homeless people or just a homeless person around here in China for quite a while now since morning I started searching at about 7 a.m. and it's past 8 a.m. right now and I still can't find a homeless person here in China and of course the idea of togetherness collective win collective growth where everyone supports each other if you are down bad someone can help you to lift you up from your family to the general public of course to the government that's what we mean when we talk about collective growth the fight against drugs which is very important here in china because it helps society to grow and of course the fact that the government offers homes to homeless people that's an amazing one let's search a little bit more and see if we can find a homeless person and then i'll tell you the fourth point and the fourth reason why i believe there's little to no homelessness here in china Millennials, here I am still searching for a homeless person. It's not an easy task. I hope I can find at least a homeless person very soon. Many hours gone and still searching for at least one homeless person. It's so hard. You can see the streets behind me. These are all the small streets around where you can easily find some homeless people but that's not the case it's so hard to find a homeless person around here but well let's check out a few more locations and see if we can find at least a homeless person worst case scenario so many people have told me that if you can find a homeless person here in china that person probably has some mental illness 
and doesn't want to live at home. That's probably the most reason why you might find a homeless person here in China. Not really homeless, they have a home, but they choose to be on the streets probably because of their mental health. Now, this is an old street here in Guangdong. As you can see, like I told you, I came out really early. Most of the shops are still closed, which shows how early I am. And it's not easy to still find a homeless person because if someone is homeless at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., it's easy to find that person in the streets. But that's not the case right here in China. You can see this is the back alley in some small areas here in Guangdong, China. And I still can't find a homeless person. Well, guys, talking about homelessness, the point number four for the reason why I believe there's little to no homeless people here in China is the fact that everyone is encouraged to have jobs. Everyone is encouraged to find jobs. Of course, recently with economies worldwide, it's been slightly harder to find good jobs everywhere. But here in China, of course, the pay might not be the highest. The pay here in China for jobs might not be the best. But the government here in China really, really encourages everyone to have a job of some kind. And also guys, one thing I realized here in China is that most companies offer accommodation to the employees. It doesn't matter how much they pay the employee, they still offer accommodation. And in most cases, they also offer feeding, breakfast and lunch in most cases. And most companies, most factories here in China actually have kitchens where you can cook your food and eat when you are hungry. And of course, that helps to really reduce the spending of so many people. At least having a job, even if it doesn't pay much at the beginning, at least it gives you a sense of purpose. It helps you understand that you wake up in the morning, you have something that's keeping you busy, you have something to look forward to as compared to just laying around, not working, not doing anything, which might then lead you into other situations which are unavoidable. And of course, which will then lead you into homelessness. Now guys, you can see in locations like this, you will easily find homeless people. But here, in most cases like this, at the parks here in China, you will just find people relaxing, people chilling, like that, like the delivery guys chilling. Did you wish I your hand? So I've been walking for quite a while but still can't find a single homeless person and I feel tired. Anyone who feels like searching, you can come to China and help me check. It's so hard to find a homeless person right here. Now I'm not so far from a small park. And there are many old people here just having fun, just chilling. This is what you can find here in China. Unlike finding homeless people, you can find people here in China like this. Hello. 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 So this is a small park here in China, no homeless people of course. And everyone is just having fun and just chilling. Hey Lava! <laughs> in the parks here in China, you Ni hao! Ni hao! Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> in the parks here in China, you won't find homeless people, but you will definitely find the old people chilling. You can see it. <laughs> This is the real China. Little to no homelessness and more happy people. <laughs> you know I love my dancing here in China, guys. <laughs> I can't even dance today. I've been walking around for a long time and hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Hello, 
，慢慢甩，耶！哈，谁？你们都很厉害啊！六六六！哈哈哈哈哈哈 ！So I came here searching for homeless people. But I found happy people, guys. So this right here is the real China. I can't find a homeless person, but I can find happy people. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I think after this, I'll try to dance a little bit, then I can head home. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, this is Willen. See you next time.